to identify as a highly successful comedian. <laughs> I'm just going through a tough time right now. <laughs> My name is Nelson Tinashe Gomba Komba Jr. <laughs> the second. <laughs> I always tell the ladies the name Nelson Tinashe Gomba Komba Jr. The second. <laughs> is the shortest thing about me. And, uh, <laughs> there we get souls. Wow. Thanks for that round of applause. Uh, it's actually getting cold now. Eh? Don't you just hate it when it's cold and your penis shrinks? It's like, my penis has shrunk all the way to the kneecaps right now. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop pretending like you relate, sir. Uh, you know. <laughs> He's turning to his wife like, you know. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, so my therapist, uh, sorry, my probation officer, uh, uh, he says that I should talk about topics that are relatable to people. So, um, does anyone watch Fake Taxi? <laughs> no? We got a bunch of liars in tonight, huh? <laughs> Nobody watches Fake Taxi! <laughs> I, I watched every season of Fake Taxi. <laughs> I watch so much fake taxi, I know the directions in London, right? <laughs> to those who don't know what fake taxi is, uh, fake taxi is a documentary. <laughs> it's a satire, really, about the rising transportation costs in the greater London area. Sadiq uh, Khan, not to take a leaflet out of that book. Yeah, man. So I'm originally from Zimbabwe, hey. which means my passport will never get stolen. <laughs> Someone will steal my passport, they run after me like, sir, take a shit back, please. <laughs> I lived in Zimbabwe until I was able to swim. <laughs> I swam all the way from Africa. <laughs> I almost drowned 27 times. <laughs> I fought sharks. <laughs> I fought Somali pirates. <laughs> Only to get washed up at this place called Great Yarmouth. Now, I looked around for a bit and then I started swimming back to Africa. <laughs> I was like, if that is Great Yarmouth, I don't want to see the normal Yarmouth. <laughs> Do you guys remember last year when Pretty Patel was trying to send immigrants to Rwanda? Yep. Do you know how crazy that is? Just imagine, you're an immigrant, you swam all the way from Africa, you fought your Somali pirates, almost drowned 27 times, only to get washed up on the English Channel, then you get sent to Rwanda. That's like immigration snakes and ladders. <laughs> it's like, damn, I started over here, now I'm over there. <laughs> yeah. All I'm trying to say is that Rwanda is not the place where immigrants typically swim from. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's like a girl invites you over to her house to give you a blowjob. And you get excited, because you're finally going to get some head. You tell your mom you wear your best shirt. You get excited. I'm finally gonna get some hair. <laughs> tell the bus driver. Yeah. I'm finally gonna get some hair. <laughs> then you get to her house. And she's like, oh, 
I'm really sorry, but I've just said a root canal treatment. So my jaw is not working, but my uncle, my uncle has a perfectly functional jaw. It's, just, it's not the same thing. It's not the same. It's still a mouth, but it's not the same thing. I live in Norwich right now, I live in Norfolk. Norfolk is whiter than cocaine. <laughs> White. White. Coincidentally, there's only white people I see to see. It's, it's kind of like this, really. It's just white. I asked a girl from Norfolk why she does not date any black guys and she said it's because there aren't any in her family <laughs> which is a fair point technically speaking in norfolk familytree.com is a dating website yeah so i live man so i'm based there's 48 black people in norwich <laughs> We keep track. <laughs> boop, boop. That'll be 49 and I go back home tonight. <laughs> I recently became a father. Thank you. You know, when the doctor brought the baby to me, right, he got excited. He was like, congratulations, Mr. Nelson Tinashe Gomba Komba Jr. the second, Norris number one black comedian. Congratulations, it's a baby girl. And then he, he, he was like, it's a baby girl. And then there was background music, the nurses were dancing. It was like, it was like a Bollywood movie. There was, everyone was dancing. And I was like, hold on, partner. And then there was silence. And everyone stopped, also like a Bollywood movie, very dramatic. I was like, hold on, partner. This is 2022, mate, because it was 2022. <laughs> I was like, hold on, partner. This is 2022, mate, which means you cannot assume my child's gender, <laughs> which means I can still have the son I want. <laughs> I hope my daughter never hears that joke. <laughs> Just, yeah. I was talking to my pet zebra the other day. And I was like, zebra, are you white with black stripes? Or are you black with white stripes? And then the zebra ran away with my bag of weed. <laughs> I didn't really write a punchline for that joke. I just thought you'd fill it in based on your own racial prejudice. Like, you decide what race is it. God damn. If you Google black comedian from Norwich, I am the top result. Yeah. As in case you like the shit that I did tonight. <laughs> Sometimes Google try to sneak in a few white people be like, did you mean white comedian from the... No. Just keep scrolling if, if you like what I did. So I'm 32 right now. I have a daughter, you know, I'm trying to get to know myself as anyone would, you know, trying to understand myself. There's this Canadian psychologist called Dr. Jordan Peterson. Do you guys know about him? He has a test online called Understand Myself. And I saw this, I saw, damn, understand my, I need that, I'm 32, I'm a father, time to understand myself, you know. So I clicked on that ad, and then it said it was 9.99. And in that moment, I truly understood myself. <laughs> I'm a cheap bastard. I was like, thank you, Dr. Jordan Peterson, for you. He's a really good psychologist, I must say. Does anyone have any questions so far? <laughs> no? 
I'm trying to get to know myself. Like, a lot of people like to think that they're overthinkers. Like, oh, I'm an overthinker. Oh, I'm the opposite. I'm an underthinker. I'm always going, damn, I should have thought of that. <laughs> and then she happens. Um, guess I should. It's been quite sexy. I could stay here up all night, but. So no one has any questions, no? Yeah, yeah, I've got one. If, uh, if a zebra stole your weed, but how does a zebra roll a joint? So uh, this is a comedy set, you know? It's like, you know, you're asking me a philosophical question right now. Does a zebra still roll a joint, you know? No, I, it doesn't. Do that, that's such a random question. I think I should refer you to Dr. Jordan Peterson's. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, actually see me after the show. <laughs> Just get 2.5. My name is Nelson T. Gomba Gomba Jr. The Zanko. Peace and love. Okay.